for joining me today on Let's Talk About It. I'm Jackie Priestley Moody, and I, you know I'm always excited when I have a guest, but this time <laughs> I've actually almost needed to find a way to calm myself down because I am so excited to introduce to today my friend and guest, R.V. Oh. Robinson. Oh my gosh, ta-da! <laughs> I love this woman. She is, she is such an inspiration. Uh, R.V., you are founder of R.V. Robinson International. Yes. And then you're an international speaker, mm -hmm. five-time best-selling author, <laughs> podcaster, YouTuber, TikToker, and the list goes on. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you have quite a story. You're an extremely accomplished woman. I'm sad that we live so far apart because right. I just wish I could hang around you all the time. Aww. Just being around <laughs> you is very inspirational to me. Thanks. You have so much energy and you grasp at life <laughs> and find ways to share your talent mm. with others. And just so I find you very inspirational. Oh, I'm trying to remember when I first met you, it was a good five, seven years ago, wasn't it? Was, it? Right. It was before yeah. COVID and yeah. I had a, um, a Christian speakers yes. uh, network. That's right. And you came to That's one of the right. luncheons. Yes. Uh -huh. That's right. It was wonderful. Yeah. So you are known as a master speaker mm -hmm. trainer. Now, a master speaker trainer. Um, <laughs> what is that? Okay. And how did you <clears throat> become that? Okay. Well, the master speaker the trainer. The master speaker <laughs> trainer. Yes. And I, I became that way from just years of experience. I've been okay. uh, teaching business owners and entrepreneurs how to use public speaking for over 20 years. Wow. And it started when I was in corporate America. I was okay. uh, a systems consultant. And so I was uh, training some people, you know, kind of just for fun sure. there. And then... Um, one day through my prayers, um, I just, you know, said, you know, God, what's next? You know, what do you want to, you know, what, what do I do next? And he just said, teach others what I've taught you. And I knew exactly what he meant. And that was public speaking. So 20 years ago, I left corporate America, everything it had to offer, started, hung up my shingle, started my own company. Started your own uh -huh. company. And I've, tra <laughs> and I that trained over. That is so over, gutsy. Yeah. <laughs> and, I've, <laughs> and I've trained over 5,000 business owners since then. I've given over 7,500 uh, speeches all over the world. And I don't say that to brag. I just no. say it's a lifestyle. Anybody could do it if they learn how to speak. Yeah. And, but so many people think that just because they can flap their jaw that that makes them a speaker, and it doesn't. Does it? You need to be trained. There's no such thing as a natural-born speaker. Right. And how I can prove it is because if your daughter showed signs of like being able to dance or something, yes. what's the first thing that you're going to do? Give her dance lesson. Yes, 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 yes. And that's what you need to do. So if you feel like you're a natural born speaker or that you've been called to speak, get trained. Yes. And whether it's by me or somebody else, get trained. And not that just totally one training. That totally makes sense. Keep going to multiple trainings, multiple trainings, because totally every speech sense. coach has something to offer. Oh. Now, me, what I do, what makes me different is I, because I came out of the systems world, okay. I set up systems so that people can follow it and easily learn how to speak. So step one, step two, step three, step four, that kind of thing. Yes. So whether it's your elevator speech, your one-minute pocket speech, your five-minute showcase, or your big 30-minute yes. uh, talk, I have a system that you can follow, yes. and it's invisible. No one will know. It's kind of like, I think of a frame and a picture. Like you have a beautiful painting, right, hand-painted. And you can put it on the wall just like that. Yeah. But when you go and you pay like $1,000 for a frame, frame and, you know, you, you add glass or and you add the border, the, I yeah. mean, all of a sudden it pops. pops. And nobody, nobody thinks, oh, well, that was a weird picture or whatever. No, yeah. it just the whole thing in and of itself. Comes itself. together. Comes together. I love that beautiful. analogy. I yeah. love that analogy. I also, now you mentioned uh, elevator. Yes. What? What is that? I know what it yeah. is, but for well, the sake for of... For a lot of people, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's that little saying that when people say, what do you do? And you're going, oh, I don't know what to say. It's that. So I teach people formula so they can say the right thing, say something that's beneficial, say something that'll roll off their tongue. And they'll rem the and other they'll person remember. remember it. And what I call it, I don't call it elevator speech. I do because that's kind of the language. Sure. I call it a core message because I believe it's right here, right at your core. And from there every other speech comes. You have to have that down. Then you can do your 
signature talk or your five minute showcase or on and on, whatever yes. talks you have, yes. your podcast interviews, yes. your, you know, but it, you've got to know your core. You've got to have that. It's yeah. so important. Yeah. So that's how I start every client that's with wonderful. their core message. That's wonderful. And would you consider that baby steps? Because it, I hear building blocks. Yeah. And if they, if they don't have that, Right. There's nothing to build on. So that's the foundational right. thing that you get across. I would this. say it's more foundational rather than baby step. Yeah. It's a foundation. foundation it's kind of like what you put build. your house on, yes. you know, that cement slab. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> that's your cement slab. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it, and it's true. How many speeches have you seen that just kind of blows over mm -hmm. because they don't know how to structure it or it's not on solid ground? They're yes. not clear who they are or what they offer. Yes. That's then very true. The house blows That's down. Very true. It's kind of like the, yeah. you know. The, I really liked when I came to your uh, speaker luncheon and mm -hmm. you hit us with, now you've got this many seconds. And it was what, 30 seconds? <laughs> yeah, it's 30 seconds. it was seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> and when you said that, I thought, ah! <laughs> I, said, yeah. I have to leave now, 30 seconds. Right. <laughs> but that, that pressure of you saying mm -hmm. that to us immediately made me think, what can I offer? What can I say? How can I give my identity mm -hmm. and what I'm about in 30 right, seconds? Right. And that one meeting mm -hmm. created a shift in me Good. because I started to understand and I talked to God about it. And he said, <laughs> yeah, you need to give your testimony, be able to, because you never know when I'll open a window where you can talk into somebody's life right. and you need to be ready. And he got across to me 30 seconds, one minute, mm -hmm. three minutes, mm -hmm. five minutes, 10 minutes. And then and if you've so got on. 30 minutes, go to town. But it mm -hmm. really was a trigger point of me starting to think and then ask God. I believe it. Yeah, it was wonderful. Yeah. Just well, just that little pressure that mm -hmm. was created. And and think of it like not so much like how am I going to, you know, and this yeah. is for our friends, not how how am I gonna, you know, get my point across? No, how am I going to open the hearts of the listeners? Because once mm. I open their hearts, it opens their ears and then opens their pocketbook. <laughs> I don't yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Open heart, Our open ears, open, open pocketbook. Book. Yes. And that's the key. Yes. And that's what my formula sure. does. Sure. That's wonderful. <laughs> that's wonderful. Now, you you said you've been training other business owners mm -hmm. yes. for 20 years. 20 years. 20 I just years. had my 20th. So you started when you were four. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I just celebrated my 20th year. I couldn't believe it myself. 20 years. That's I've been my amazing. own boss longer than than I've worked for anybody else. That's wonderful. <laughs> That's really wonderful. Yeah, That's it is. Amazing. It's a miracle. It's a God thing. You know, it is absolutely a God, a God yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. Now, speaking of God, which we love talking about um, on this show and part of Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network, you like to bring God to and faith into the platform. Into, absolutely. How do you do that? Because so many people out there nowadays, you know, if mm -hmm. because of our society, if we mention God, they start rolling in their eyes. Right, right. So I... I think it's very possible to bring God into the marketplace, but how do you mm -hmm. do it? Okay. I like to share that because it's bringing him to the stage without being preachy yes. because the preachiness is what turns people yes. away. Yes. Right. So, and I saw this, I saw this demonstrated um, when I went to an event and I was listening to uh, uh, some of the speakers and the speaker said, he just simply said, and I prayed about it. And I looked to the right and I looked to the left. This is years ago yeah. to see, because I came out of corporate America. Sure. Oh, you didn't even talk no, about no. it around yeah. the water cooler, yeah, right? Yeah. So I looked to the right, I looked to the left, and then nobody seemed to mind or yeah. have a face. And I thought, aha, that's it. So that's how I started. So I like my story I just yeah. shared with yeah. you. I prayed to God, what do you want me to do? Yeah. And he said, public speaking. So one is in your own story, your own yeah. testimony. And then, then I use it as examples. I'll say, your words are so powerful. God said, let there be light. And there was, oh, perfect. And the audience says light. light. And I say, and he made us in his own. And they all say it. So they all know it. And they're the ones talking. They're the ones saying it. And, and it's interactive. <laughs> and they can't fun. get upset because they're the ones that yeah. said it. And you just don't use the address, just no scripture address yeah. on anything. And then it's not preaching. 
Yes. Right? So I often say, you know. Um, so they don't shut down. They actually open exactly. up with the way you do it. And I'll That's say, wonderful. Uh, you know, the, the Bible says, you know, I'll even say the Bible says that your words, now I'm saying words because I'm a public speaker. So yes. you have to work it into whatever sure. it is you do. But I'll say your words um, can either heal or kill. Yes. Right? Yes. You no, know, the Bible says your words will either heal yes. or they kill. Yeah. Right? And I say your words will either sell or they repel. Very good. Very so good. Yeah. You, you know, you just use it yes, as you examples. Create the same ways. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, in your own, you know, business. Fabulous. Yeah. And I, I actually, it, I, I love that you do that because <laughs> I, on my show, my other show, um, His Healing Word, mm -hmm. um, I talk a lot about the power of words mm. and um, how it can change perspective and everything else. So I love that you bring God in it and, you know, they can heal or destroy. And then you say, or they can sell or repel. Right, right, and then right. you, before they know what you hit them with, <laughs> you bounce it back over here to business. And they're right. like, what just happened? <laughs> and I, I love that you're getting God right. in there. Yeah. And here's the beauty That's of it, fabulous. because at the end of my seminar or at the break, people will come up to me and say, oh, you're a woman of faith, aren't you? Yes. Like they ask yes. because I've dropped the little seed. seed and they'll say you're a woman. And then guess what? The people that are women, men and women of faith tend to gravitate toward me yes. and buy my program because... Wonderful. That's they what they are. It. So like attracts it. like. Yes. So if you want to work with more Christians, you got to let people know you are one. Yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> are, we, are we taking notes here? Are we catching this? Because this is, you know, there are a lot of people out there that are entrepreneurs. My, my husband is a private investigator. Oh, okay. And I've watched him in the almost seven years that we've been married. I've watched him go from being shy to pray over... Mm. A meal with me. Aww. To now he's he's bold to talk to people, and he'll he'll find ways like what you're saying in his business relationships to get Good. God in there with an encouraging word or something, and he'll mention the Lord or he'll mention God, and then if they nibble back, it opens up a, a greater bond. Right. In the seat of the business. Absolutely. And absolutely. Um, and that creates. Um, kinship, but it also creates loyalty to the product and loyalty mm -hmm. to the product giver. So mm -hmm. by all means, uh, if you're a person of faith, don't be afraid to right. incorporate that. Just be wise in how you do it. And, right. and there's no need to talk in these and thous. <laughs> <laughs> or shall. <Yeah. laughs> or shan't or do it or say it. <laughs> Right, no, yeah, no, we don't not do that. necessary, <laughs> but you can bring the Lord in there, mm -hmm. or, um, yeah, and it's, yeah, it's it really works, and I think a lot more people are getting bold to do it. And it's time. Yeah. It, it is it's time. time. It, good for it's you, time. it is time. Um, <laughs> what shall we do next? <laughs> what shall we do next? Yeah, 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 and, uh, you know, I've had... It's interesting too because you can you can share your faith in your business and you don't have to slip over into Christianese. Exactly. Where you sound super churchy. Right, exactly. Because um, a lot of people can't relate right. to that. And maybe they don't go to church or they don't, but they right. they <laughs> want to know more about God right. and they want to see real live right. business people who are sharp intelligent, <clears throat> interesting, gifted, accomplished, and mm -hmm. oh, and, and you love God. Yeah. Oh, th yeah. that is going to get their attention. Right. Yeah. Right. So, and I am known to throw in an amen now and that's then. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And that's I always right. end with God bless. Yeah. So there's lots of ways that you can yes. bring God to this yeah. stage. Okay. And before I go, here's though my secret. I always pray for the shot of the Holy Spirit. And you oh, only yeah. need a shot. You don't yeah. need a whole bunch. Yeah. So every time before I step on stage, even when I stepped here today, it's like, yes. please, Lord, give me a shot of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Give me a shot of the Holy Spirit. Yes. You know? Yeah. Because he, he is so intuitive about what will work <laughs> and what to say. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've found that to be so true. Now, you have something here, a flyer, that something's coming oh, up. Where are you? Yes. I a, actually, I have... 
um, a flyer for, I don't know if anybody can see this, but it's a new event. It's a one day okay. women's event, but men are welcome. And it's called Fit, Fame, and Fortune. Fit, Fame, fame and, and fortune. fortune. And I found the secret. I'm not going to tell you right now, but you come to the <laughs> seminar and I'll tell you the secret, but I found the secret to fame and fortune. So it's only $79 right now. Early bird and you get lunch. Yeah. You get lunch. I'm serving lunch. It's, yeah. it's a whole networking thing. I've got some uh, great uh, hand-picked speakers coming. I'm going to be speaking about speaking. Mm -hmm. I've got a gal coming that's going to talk about books. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. Yeah. So and I hope where is to it? see where you is there. It? Look in Orange it. County, Garden Grove. Okay. Garden oh, Grove. Garden I mean, yeah. easy peasy. And um, uh, June seventh. I was so going to say the date. Is Fit where you go. Fitfamefortune.com. Easy. Check it out. Yeah. Learn more about. Uh, you uh, give great uh, seminars because I came thank to your you. three day. You. Yeah. That you had for speaking and um, yeah yeah you give you you keep it going. Keep it going. You uh, inspire. Make it fun. You do keep make it fun. You inspire <laughs> interaction. Uh -huh. With people. Um, I build community. You do. Mm -hmm. And then the lunches are very nice. And for those lunch, of you that are highly motivated down. by food. It's a fit down lunch. Yeah. Yeah. And yummy. It's not a buffet or something. No, I don't like that. It's buffets. yummy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna have appetizers after the yeah. after the show. Yeah. After the show. And it's a great yeah. chance to network yeah. and mm -hmm. um, I know I used to be shy about networking and I was very uncomfortable with it. And people are surprised about that because I'm a talker. I can talk to anybody. Right. But um, I just felt shy about it. And I've learned, no, all you have to do to start a conversation is ask the other right. person about themselves. Or compliment them yes. on something. Yes. You know, and yeah. that'll start and a conversation. And that'll start the conversation. And again, as women, we're really better at this than some mm -hmm. men. Men, mm -hmm. you know, kind of talk a lot of yeah. business, but we can start with a compliment. Yeah. A man can't always start no. with a compliment no. of another no, man, getting, but, yeah. you know, we can, so yeah. let's take advantage yeah. of it. Yeah. Now, um, you have written, you've got five best-selling books. I do. Tell me about those. <clears throat> well, they're collaboration books. I okay. mean, I have my own book, which is called Speak Up, Get Clients. Yes, and I read with, that. It's yeah. in my library. It's very good. good. Speak up, get clients. And it's on it's Audible, spoken by the author. Yay. So it's on Audible. Um, yeah, because that's a new, you know, new thing now. Yeah. I, I almost all my books I read are Audible yeah. nowadays, yeah. you know. But yeah, I have five collaborated books, two of which I put together, which is called The Impact of One Voice. The Impact of One Voice. Wonderful. And uh, your story, it's your voice, your story, and your message matters. God gave me that title. The uh, impact wonderful. of one voice. Let me, let me read this mm -hmm. again because I love that. Yeah. Your voice, mm -hmm. your story, and your message matters. Matters. It matters. And a lot it of matters. people don't realize there is a message inside yeah. them. Yeah. Well, and you know, my mantra is, you know, you have a message to share that only you can share it mm -hmm. to people that can only hear it from you. Isn't and that, that interesting? Yeah. And it's I mean, true, isn't it? It is. And I can't do that, your message, and have right. someone hear it. Now, I used to think that if you could not deliver your message, then it could be taken away from you and given to somebody else. Mm. And so one day, Jackie, I'm in church, and I hear the, I hear the, um, uh, Pat, uh, the uh, deacon. Mm. <clears throat> I hear the deacon say this. He said, God gave you all unique gifts. Unique. Yes. What does unique mean? One of a kind, one of right? A kind. One of a kind. Yes. Right? That's why there's no comparison yeah. here. Yeah. One of a kind. And if you and don't we use those. we compare ourselves to others. Yeah. Right. Because and we diminish ourselves that way. Right. Well, you diminish the gifts he gave yeah. you. Yeah. But, but we have unique gifts. And if we don't use them, they will be unused, unused mm. for all eternity. Yeah. And in that, that minute, I went, that's it. That's the same with your message. If you don't share your message, if you don't get it out to the world, it will be undelivered for wow. all eternity. Wow. That means, that means the people whose lives you were supposed to save, the, the businesses you were supposed to save, or the souls you're yeah. supposed to say, go on unsaved or die Untouched or whatever. By the, that That's on you. Of us. Just because you Isn't wouldn't get something? trained and step on stage and get out there and deliver your message. Wow. And time is running out. Time is running That's out. That's what I'm telling people. Time is running out. Yeah. You don't have a lot of time now. Yeah. Get trained. Yeah. And get out there. And wouldn't you say, Arvi, that there's 
we have to be sure that we aren't saying to ourselves, oh, I'm too old, oh. or no one at this age or this age or <laughs> at my age is going to, shall we just tell the truth since yes. we're here today? Yes. How many birthdays have you had? Uh, actually, I've had 69, and in three okay. months, I'm going to have my big 7-0. Okay, and I'm, <laughs> I'm 72 and a half. I'll be 73 in August. Uh, I'll provide you the address so you can send my presents. <laughs> flowers, please. <laughs> flowers, bling. <laughs> I think 70 deserves We're something, kidding. right? We're kidding. Right. <laughs> I'm not kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can look me up on Facebook, Instagram. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, so it, it, there's no such thing as, oh, I can't. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember years ago, I thought, well, if I don't remarry by the time I'm 40, nobody's ever going to look at me oh, twice. Oh, why would and, you think And I was that? a 60, what? Because I had lies in my head. gorgeous. I had lies in my head and poor oh. self-esteem. And I was a 65-year-old bride. Yeah. Hey, so you never know oh, what, God has, <laughs> what God has in store for you. Good, I hope I can be a 70-year-old bride. You know. <laughs> so you don't know what God has in store for you mm -hmm. if you get out of the mental slump and get away from the lies right. and start to say, who can I be, Lord? Right. Right. You ask God. Right. And Look what he downloaded into you. Right. And you've been running with it ever since and impacting lives. You know, and you all have, if you're watching, you have something inside mm -hmm. of you. And mm -hmm. there's different seasons of life. Maybe when you're raising a toddler, you don't have time to do the thing. That is your job. <laughs> that is your job. You know, you're contributing a new yeah. little soul to society right, who will right. hopefully be a quality person. But I love being in this age group. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to take a pill and look 35 or 40. Again, <laughs> yeah, but, wouldn't that be Oh, great? well. You know, <laughs> but really, uh, life is not over until we draw our last breath. Right. And if we're really Well, God's asking, not done with us until we, yeah. he takes us home. I mean. Yeah. And we need to think that way. Right. We need to realize one of the things I love about you is you say to God and to yourself, what's next? What's next? What, Give me direction. You know, and right. we need to be asking that. It's an exciting question, full of potential. Right. Full of potential. Right. Now, have you <clears throat> ever found as you went into your business um, that you, along the way, you thought, oh, I've got to tweak this or I've got to tweak that. I mean, you're the master speaker trainer. Mm -hmm. Where did you get the training? Where did you, how did you inspire yourself to grow into who you've <clears throat> become? Well, good question. In the very, very beginning, 20 years ago, yeah. I, I first thing I did out of corporate America is hired a coach. Okay. And I hired a coach, a mentor, for one year. Wow. Because I didn't know how to become an, I didn't know how to be an entrepreneur. I came right out of college, went to a big CPA firm, Deloitte, right? And then went to a couple of CPA firms after that. But that's all I knew. I didn't know how to run a business or, I mean, and I remember back in the day, he said to me, he goes, he goes, well, you, you need to write an easing. Do you remember the easing days? No, I've and never I said, heard of that. It's like a newsletter, right? Okay. And I'm like, an e what? You know, yeah. I didn't have a clue as to what he was talking about. So that's number one. Mentors are so important. Don't try to do anything on your own. I've had mentors for everything, right? I still have a business mentor. How do you find them? How do you find a quality <clears throat> mentor? Well, there's lots of ways. Going to seminars, going to seminars like this one, right? Go okay. to seminars because when there's multiple speakers, guess what? They all usually sell products and services, more services than, than anything else. So that's one way. Okay. Another way, of course, is ask referrals yes. from your friends. You know, a third way, you could always go on social media, but you have to be careful. Yes, you, you have do. to find out what their track record is, how yeah. long they've been doing it. I mean, you know. Uh, that kind of thing, but uh, yeah. there's lots of ways. But and pray about it. Pray for yes. the right one to come. Yes, you know, to you. And when you find a good one, don't let them go. Yeah, you know, like I've had yeah. one. My business mentor I've had for almost 20 years. My goodness. You know, so yeah. Uh, yeah. mentors are so important. Yeah, yeah, okay. And and I I love that you keep saying it in each thing that you do. Um, though you're extremely capable, <laughs> high energy, and very intelligent, you don't no. just rely on RV. No. You 
take who you are mm -hmm. and who God's made you to be, and well, you go back to him as director yeah. and say, what next? How do I yeah. do this? Please bring me. So you're constantly yeah. asking for his direction. Absolutely. And what I like to call it is evolving. Yes. Okay. As a human being, evolving, not just staying in one place. As a business owner, evolving. As yes. a woman, yes. evolving. Yes. Right? And I w I'm looking for somebody that's evolved. Yes. Right? I mean, I want a mate that's evolved, not someone that's just been doing what they're doing and always doing yeah. what they're doing and yeah. never moved and have that yeah. mindset from you know, 20 years ago or something like that. Yeah. So you want to always constantly evolve, do new stuff. I mean, I've done just about everything in my business. You name it. Like, yes, I have an audio book now. Yes, I have, you know, podcasts. I have I had three podcasts. I had a Christian podcast and a million dollar podcast. Now I've got a more of a fitness podcast. I mean, you know, I, you, you, yeah. And you got it. Sometimes you got to listen to me. You yeah. got to. You got to. <laughs> you, you need to embrace technology. Yeah. So I found I needed to embrace. I wasn't embracing recently Instagram and I needed to embrace Instagram. And one of the things that I'm working on now is being an influencer. Ah. I mean, because that's one thing I haven't done. Yeah. Right. I mean, I've got all this other stuff done. I mean, I've done it all. I've got my you know, my, my, I've got a teleclass that I've, or teleclass. Well, trust me, you're, I, you're, you're, you're I got, and now it's video, but it started at teleclass, but I've got a, a, a master class that I've had for 20 years. You're you know, an influencer just oh. every day that you wake up oh. and you talk to anybody. Thank you. And I'm realizing <laughs> we're, we're about to play beat the clock. Uh -oh. We're going to go into a second session and RV had uh, some, something happen a couple years ago in her life that just pulled the rug out from under you. Yes. And uh, her life came crashing down, and she has an amazing story and a whole nother chapter of God showing her yes. how to reinvent your life and come alive again out of deep, deep grief. So I'm very excited for you to th that episode will be shown next week, and I want you to stay tuned for that. It will be on Let's Talk About It, and she'll be featured with her story. Your book, this book tells about yes. this. So it's the impact of one voice, inspirational stories of passion, purpose, and perseverance. Available on Amazon. Yeah. And if you know <laughs> anyone who's going through grief and loss, please <clears throat> let them know ahead of time to watch the show where Arvi shares her story. I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, you, you precious welcome. jewel, for being <laughs> here. I'm Jackie Priestley Moody, RV Robinson. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for joining us on Let's Talk About It. And I look forward to seeing you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye.